Our next guest has his comedy special, Nori, available now on Spotify. Please welcome the very funny Nori Davis. Thank you. All right, let's do this before it's my bedtime, because I'm tired. <laughs> when you're in 30 and after 10 p.m., your body's in low power mode. <laughs> it's like it's something I, like I grew this janitor in me. He's like, oh, these lights should be off. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, I'm driving. <laughs> That's too much electricity, young man. You should be in bed. That is too much. <laughs> too much. But the only thing that really keeps me up is like I love watching my movie franchise, Jurassic Park. I love those films. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Because it really makes white people believe dinosaurs would have been their pets. <laughs> <laughs> they hit them with that Chris, that Chris Pratt palm. Hey, 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 Blue. Hey, you know me. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> it's like reptiles don't listen. <laughs> I've never seen a white person walking a Komodo dragon. <laughs> but it's like, hey, 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 hey. You know me. And the raptor stops like, oh, you lucky I love parks and recreation. <laughs> you lucky. I, I, I'll see you later, Star Lord. <laughs> <laughs> he comes back. <laughs> Capitalism are gonna cap, baby. <laughs> but like, how long are we gonna keep doing this hierarchy? Working class, poor, rich, wealthy. It's like a game, but it's our real lives. <laughs> the wealthy and rich are playing Monopoly. Working class and poor, we're playing trouble. <laughs> pop, pop, six dollars. <laughs> That's all I can do today. <laughs> pop, pop, two, I can't even leave the house. <laughs> I gotta wait for a six. <laughs> it's like the wealthy, they have the money, just print the money. <laughs> You have it. Just, like, Command P. It's always been that. <laughs> it never changed, no matter how old you are. <laughs> but, you know, I'm not a politician. I'm just an Aries. That's all I know. <laughs> I'm always trying to get rid of generational trauma within my family, you know, because I'm a millennial, and I was raised by baby boomer parents. And you know that we was their property. <laughs> you know that, that saying, like, I bought you in this world, I'll take you out. <laughs> what makes you think that's a good investment? <laughs> you can always tell millennials have trauma from their parents because when they talk to their friends, they call them by their first name. Hey, how's your mom? Who, Jackie? <laughs> she all right. Still judging. <laughs> they have so much trauma, but I give them grace because, you know, therapy just came out 2020. They missed it. <laughs> It just came out. <laughs> it's so hard. Like, you ever tell a baby boomer you love them? I love you. They start malfunctioning. <laughs> love. <laughs> it was my dad's birthday the other day. I was like, hey, dad, happy birthday. He was like, all right. <laughs> all right. Not even like a Kool Aid, all right. It was like a prisoner telling the guard, like, hey, happy birthday. All right, all right. <laughs> Back in your cell back in there. <laughs> so that's why I always do like an outward love expression towards my child. Like, he's generation alpha. And, you know, so with a millennial, they are not our property. They are content. <laughs> that's right. Get to work. <laughs> Dad, I'm hungry. You go viral, you eat. <laughs> when you go viral, you eat. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I'm Nori Davis. Thank you so much. <laughs> Nori Davis, Nori is available on Spotify. We'll be right back, everybody.